Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode. Um, in yesterday's video we decided we were going to upgrade our kelp farm and we got the majority of it done yesterday but I uh, had to redesign it as I showed in the previous video but to make the top part of it work where water just flows right to the middle I extended it up to with an extra two layers on either side so as you can see now it is quite tall uh, with building block I also died to a uh, enderman, which is why everything's all over the place. But as you can see, water. I haven't filled anything in yet, but you can water all the way up to the top with some kelp to create the water sources. And yeah, you have some water at the top that so just pushes it along. Hopefully, it will just flow over so that's it I'm going to sort my inventory out because it's a mess make some new armor and I shall be back with you very shortly welcome back guys I've got all this sorting now just going to put the water in on the top across here, remove these slabs and that should hopefully just push everything to the edge here and then it will just fall down into these streams I could do with getting some ice there but I need to get a silk touch tool which unfortunately I don't have just yet That's Perfect. So we're just going to do this and when it's done I will bring you back and hopefully it will all be working smoothly. So I will be back with you in just a moment. Right we're back. Uh, this is now working as you can see it's all I mean I've put in some of the kelp that I collected while I was doing it but it's working quite well now let's go back up top and have another look Uh, is this the middle? I think it is. Nope. I'll press it, press that out in a bit. But as you can see, because I've only used one observer, some of these are growing taller, but one sat middle one does grow up it in har harvest all that one out in that line I mean I could have used like observers above each one but there you go just fired off see if we can catch it this one Should start to see them rising up soon. There we go. All just dropping down. The only issue we have at the moment, like I said earlier, we need some ice to go there so they just slide across. I mean, when they do fall down the middle, they do get stuck. But when other ones fall down, hopefully they will just bunch up and push them, push them all along. So that is that done. Uh, 
and you get some sand to fill this creeper hole in but aside from that that is one thing done we just need to make the outside look better I've got plenty of stone so we can make stone bricks I, I love working with stone bricks I'm just going to build a framework up and put a little bit of detail in and seeing as it's a kelp farm we will try and incorporate some of the kelp blocks in along with some sa along with some sandstone and possibly some concrete as well so I'm going to try and figure out a design in my head and then we can make a start on that so there's a piece of cobblestone that fell in so yeah I'm going to uh, gather some resources and I shall be back with you very shortly and if you could hear some scratching on the floor that's my dog so yeah I'll be back with you very shortly Welcome back. Right, I've gathered up enough sand and gravel to make a stack of concrete. Uh, I'm just on the lookout now for some yellow flowers. I'm going to have a quick look in this forested area up here, and I'm not sure if there'll be any in a savanna biome but we can have a look I'm going to do a framework of stone bricks and oh, there's some flowers yeah framework of stone bricks along with the yellow concrete and kelp blocks so I'm going to gather a few of these flowers up and take it from there but I don't know what else how, well, what not what else how else I could design this because I say I'm not a very creative person in this game when it comes to building but I'm going to give it a go oh yeah, I think there might be some players I'm going to, like I say, I'm going to give it a go and see what I can come up with. So, I am going to continue finding some flowers. We'll use some red ones as well. And I'll probably bring you back halfway through to, as a uh, progress update. So I shall catch you in a bit when I've got some more resources and some building work done. Welcome back everyone. Hey. So far, this is what I've managed to come up with. It's not the best looking design in the world. But it gives it a bit of a unique look and feel and this is our plan on taking it all the way down just like so and then we'll put some variation in it we'll have crack stone I'll get some crack stone bricks and some mossy ones soon as there's all water around and we will go from there and these that's one issue I'm having to deal with and I'm not sure how to do it I might just have to put some so you can it's just flowing over now uh, I might have to just put some s slabs or some or something around over these two so they just do not grow that high but 
we're going to have to sort this water situation out. But, as I said, there's a like thing stuck in the corners here as well. So yeah, I'm going to have to have a think about this and how best to rectify the situation. But I just thought to bring it back and show you what I've come up with so far. It's just yellow, yellow, red, red. But now I'm going to crack on and hopefully I can get this finished in time. Oh, and while I'm still here with you, these gaps are underneath. I'm going to put some sugarcane farms in. Same principle as this. Just observers on one end with a line of, over a line of pistons, and just so when one grows tall enough, then we can uh, get a harvest. So yeah, I shall catch you all in a little while. But I think this roof may have to come back off for a minute so I can. Uh, to sort this out because they shouldn't be growing this high I mean this one it just hasn't grown at all same as that one Ooh, so this uh this whole shift Oh, I've just thought of how I can solve that problem there. Put the water up one block. I think we'll just flow into that one. Or it could just flow down and... I know, I know what I mean. <laughs> so, yeah. I'm going to try and uh, rectify this. And I shall bring you back if I come up with a solution. So I will catch you all in a little while again. Welcome back guys. I've done some testing in a redstone world and it's not looking good. I'm afraid I can't find any solution for this. So the only thing I can do is to replace every block above a piston to an observer and that's going to require a big resource gathering mission I think so I am going to do that possibly not today because I am seriously low on time but I shall uh, try and do my best it probably won't be done now like I said I'm running low on time but I am going to have to end it there so if you've enjoyed this video please do leave a like and if you've really enjoyed it make sure to hit that subscribe button and I will catch you all in the next episode. Goodbye.